On today's show, an outlaw invents a better way to screw shotgun shells that bring life and a three-year-old pizza. I'm John P. Welcome to Geek. Today's episode of Geek Meat is brought to you by FreshBooks. I don't know how I missed it because I've never seen so much talk of stripping and screwing as went on with Outlaw's Deck Screw Kickstarter. What did you think I was talking about? Apparently, I missed the Kickstarter, which funded in October with over $100,000 worth of orders. That's going to allow people to really screw their decks well. Outlaw has invented a new screw hole that's three levels deep on long screws and two levels deep for shorter screws. The hole is hexagonal shaped, meaning that with three levels, there are 18 flat surfaces to really grip the driver for ultimate torque and no stripping involved. The screws have all sorts of other features like being extra sharp, so there's no pre-drilling of holes needed, as well as being coated for protection from the elements and being self-cleaning. Sounds like there's never been a better time to get your self-cleaning, hard-screwing, no-stripping outlaw on. You can pre-order a box or 10 at outlawfasteners.com. Or just hit geekbeat.tv forward slash 798 for today's show notes and links. 13? Yes. Speaking of Kickstarter projects, anyone know whatever happened with the Flower Shell Indiegogo project? It was a new invention for shotgun shells filled with flower seeds. Instead of having to dig and get all dirty, you just walk around peppering the ground with your shotgun to plant seeds. It's awesome. It was an Indiegogo project back in December that was supposed to be funding in like two days. I mean, it, it really blew it out, but then it just disappeared. I'm guessing Indiegogo might have made them pull it down because it was, well, explosive? But seriously, that's the only way I'm going to get a green thumb, so I wish they'd bring it back. Although, I'm not sure my neighbors would appreciate it. If you own your own business or do freelance work and you're using Word or Excel templates to create invoices, stop that right now! There's a much easier way. FreshBooks is a cloud accounting system that makes it simple to track your time, manage expenses, and create and send invoices. Spend your time on doing what you do best and what makes you money. Don't spend it collecting cash. That's what Guido's for anyway. I'm going to make him an offer he can't refuse. Go to FreshBooks.com and enter GeekBeat in the How Did You Hear About Us section to get 60 days for free. That's like two months, Dave. That's like five million seconds. And here's one our Geeks Plus moderator Paul Dixon shared. Food scientists at the U.S. Army's Natlik Labs are developing pizza that remains edible for three years without refrigeration or freezing. Peter Piper's been doing that for a long time. (laughs) Good God. (laughs) The team used humectants, ingredients like sugar, salts, and syrups, to keep the crust from being soggy and change the acidity of the sauce, dough, and cheese to prevent bacterial growth. Jill Bates, who runs the taste labs, described it like this. It pretty much tastes just like a typical pan pizza that you would make at home and take out of the oven or the toaster oven. Speaking of tasty, today LaCie announced the release of their new 5 terabyte external drive units. And if you're doing the math in your head trying to figure out what combination of internal drives it takes to get 5 terabytes, you can stop now. That is one single giant 5 terabyte drive, people. I haven't even seen 5 terabyte drives available for purchase on the market yet, so this is a big deal. It's a lot of storage in a little package with less power consumption than would ordinarily take to achieve the same density. At $449 for a Thunderbolt connected unit, the 5 terabyte drive is probably around $300 for the actual drive inside and maybe $150 for the housing. So maybe when we see the 5 terabyte drives hit Amazon, they'll be in the $350-ish range. I'll be keeping my eyes out for those. Before we go, a few important updates. First, okay, we only gave you guys a week to order the Geek Beat t-shirts before we took them down. We're sorry. That was wrong of us. Several people just couldn't do it that quickly because some of you guys apparently store up episodes and then binge watch the show. I don't blame you. I do the same thing on Netflix. Netflix.com forward slash Geek Beat for 30 days free. 
So we've reopened the ordering at geekbeat.tv forward slash t-shirt dash orders. Seriously though, on Monday morning the 24th, the order gets released to the t-shirt guys and the purchasing is shut down for at least a while. We have to get that order and we have to get it done. This time for real? <laughs> yes. Also, we told you guys about the last oversized batch of bad parking cards we found because I dug a box out of the storage uh, closet. Anyway, we put up an order form at geekby.tv forward slash bad parking, but we told you we wouldn't do international shipping on those, which we caught a lot of flack for. However, hold it, we found a way. So if you're wanting them shipped to some foreign country, like Australia or New Jersey, you can get them now. But only if you go to geekbeat.tv forward slash bad parking, not badparkingcards.com, which takes you to Amazon. They don't do international. You gotta go geekbeat.tv forward slash bad parking. And only until the last of that oversized batch runs out, which is gonna be like any minute now. So hurry up on that. Be sure to tune in for our live Samsung Unpacked coverage on February the 24th at 2 p.m. Eastern. We're gonna be doing it with Tom Merritt, so you won't wanna miss it. Keep an eye out on Cali or my social media accounts for the exact time and date if you forget, or check the show notes at geekby.tv forward slash 798. Okay guys, one last very big thing. Whatever you do, don't miss episode 800. That is next Tuesday. Seriously. Seriously. We've got some big news we're gonna be releasing. In fact, it is the biggest news in the history of this company. No kidding. So be prepared. I'm John P. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later.